Hello friends, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we are going to see about AAA authentication with the support of TechAx server using Cisco Packet Tracer. Before I start the configuration, I would like to brief about what is AAA and what is the use of TechAx server. AAA stands for Authentication, Authorization and Accounting. Authentication is nothing but by using the username and password authenticate the users. Authorization means to decide those users are authorized to access the devices and accounting means to store the list of authorized user in a device. Simply, AAA is used to provide secure way of connection with the network devices like router. Generally, the router could be accessed in three ways, line console, line auxiliary and line VTY. Out of these three, first two are used for local access and the last one VTY is used to remote access through telnet or ssh added to that we can also configure username and password to access the router basically the username and password store it in your router suppose if more than one users having access to this router then we have to store all the users login credentials in the router itself do you think is it safe to store those login credentials inside the local router definitely not because if anyone could give so running configuration in your router then all the user credentials will be openly visible so it is not safe then how we can provide safety and security to those login credential means with the help of tacax server so here we are going to store the login credentials in the server so here we have two services one is by using tacax or we can go with radius both are used for this purpose here i am going to configure tacax server in this tacax server we have to configure the list of users those who can access this router so their username and password should be stored in this tacax server suppose if any user from pc1 wants to establish a connection with router then this aaa enabled router prompt username and password to that user once the user enters that username and password that should be validated with the servers list because all your user informations are stored in this server only not in your router if both matches then this user can connect with your router if not then your connections will be terminated hence this tacax server helping this aaa authentication without loading all those details in your local router it will separate that list of users details in the server itself let me start the configuration so this is my topology here i am having a tacax server with the ip address 192.168.10.100 subnet mask 255.255.255.0 192.168.10.1 is my gateway and the same server is going to act as a dns server and the gateway router pre configured with the ip address 192.168.10.1 and two client machines 192.168.10.2 for pc1 and pc2 192.168.10.3 is pre configured now go to your router first i want to enable the aaa authentication in this router so enable configure terminal to enable the aaa authentication we have to give the command called aaa new model once you enabled this aaa authentication in this router you could log in into this router with the help of aaa authentication only for that i have to make the authentication list so aaa authentication list of users for login so authentication login space give question mark so here you can give the list name by your own word or you can use the default one here i am going to use the default name let it be default followed by that where that list is going to store so give question mark here you could see where you are going to store that list of users as i already told you you are going to store it in the server group so here group space question mark so your server is having what kind of services means tacax is my service so here i am giving the tacax added to that i have to give a command called local why i have to give local means if this tacax server is down you have to log in this router using the local username and password if you are not giving this local command then 
if there is any down for your server means you can't access your router with any credentials enter now i have to configure the tecax server address so tecax server host followed by your server ip 192.168.10.100 is my server ip enter next i have to configure the key of this server so what is the key by using this key this router is going to validate with your server so this key should be configured in your router and also later in your server also so here i am going to give the key let it be server 123 okay next you have created a authentication model you have mentioned the list of users and you have given the server ip address and you have created a key now as i told you before there are three ways to access this router console axillary and vty here i am going to take two one is console for local access and vty for remote access so first i am going to assign vty space 0 space 4 for remote access if you give login alone and you will get an error message because you can't provide a normal login here because you enabled triple a in this router so this command should not be supported so you have to use any one of this triple a authentication method list so here i have to give login authentication and the name of your list here we have used default as our list name i haven't created any list so i have used default one so i have given it exit now for local access so line console 0 for this also you have to assign your authentication list name so default enter and give enter end command wr to copy your running configuration to your startup configuration now give so running configuration to ensure everything so here you have created a model here you have created a list for tacax and also for local access for safety purpose and uh, followed by that here you have configured your server address and you have created a secret key here and uh, followed by that you have assigned that triple authentication for your console and also you have assigned it for your remote access vty okay fine next we have to configure the server so click your server and go to the service tab and you could see triple a here so click the triple a and make the service on so here for which device you are creating this tacax server so for this router so the client name is going to be router and what is that client ip address for this router ip 192.168.10.1 so that ip here we have to give 192.168.10.1 is my ip address and what is the secret key you have created for accessing this server so server 123 which we have created in the router so that same key here you have to give it and here the server type is going to act as a tacax so choose it and click add so that device will be added here like this you can add any number of routers here and here you have to create a users list so let it be user 1 is my first account and user 1 is my password add it add it to that user 2 is my another account and password is also user 2 so here i have added two users credentials user 1 and user 2 these two users are authorized to access this router so here is accounting means storing the data in the server for authorization and authentication will be happened between the pc and the router okay that is what the triple a stands for now close it now i am going to check it out so click pc1 and go to command prompt now use the command called telnet space your router ip address 192.168.10.1 and give enter see the router is asking the username and password but this username password not stored in your router it has stored in your tacax server so one of the user credential is user1 and user1 is my password give enter now user check with this tacax server and these two credentials are same then it will give an access to this pc so we have given correct credentials so it accepted and authentication was successful exit now you see the same command telnet space ip address and check with the another user user2 and user2 is my password and check yes this is also authenticated correct username password so it got accessed exit now i am going to create a local username password in your router 
and check whether it could be connected or not. So configure terminal username let it be Venget and password is going to be Venget. End WR and go to your PC again command prompt now give the same command telnet check Venget Venget. See here it will not allow you to log in with the local username and password because you have enabled this router with AAA. So only with that username which maintained in this server could be allowed to access your router until unless this TechAx server gets fine. Go to router. Now I am going to check for local login. So exit for console. So here it is asking me the username. So user1, user1 is my password. Yes, I am getting an access. Exit and user2 user 2 yes i am getting an access for takak server list exit now i am going to check with my local username password let it be venget venget see here also i can't log in with the local username and password when it will get allowed means now check if suppose your server is down that connection lost okay now if you try from this pc2 to connect your router go to command prompt Telnet 192.168.10.1 it is asking you the username password. If I am giving user1 and user1 as my password. Actually your server is down now so it will not be validated and your authentication failed here. And check with the another user also user2 user2 and this is also stored in your server so it is also getting failed. See. So then how you can access it? Here only the local username will be useful. So Venget and Venget. If this server is getting failed, then if you have configured the local username and password, at last it will allow you to log in into your router. So until unless this TACAC server is down, you can't use this local username and password. If your server is down, you can use this local username and password to get into your router connection. Same thing you can check it in your router also for local access. So now user1, user1. So it will not allow you to access because your server is down. Now I am going to use my local username and password Venget, Venget. Then this data will be evaluated and given access to the router. So enable. So running configuration. So this is the use of this local. Hope you understand. Because if you are not giving this local means if your server is down, there is no way to access your router. So it is mandatory and safety purpose. You have to give local added to your TACAX or radius service. Okay. And you have to configure the username and password for local access also. Then if you establish the connection again with your server if you go back to your router user1 and user1 to login hope you understand thanks for watching this video if you like this video click like button and share with your friends and subscribe this channel for getting more video updates bye bye